room. This is the older model and this is the new one. They just want this disconnected, slid over to the side. I don't have to get it out of here. Reconnect the water lines, put the drain line in and the power. Not too bad. If anyone knows what that is, comment below. All right. All right let's get to it. First thing you want to do, obviously, is check your shutoff valves. If they're corroded or they look faulty, bring it to the customer's attention that they might have to be changed. And when you're in a condo complex like this, sometimes you got to shut down the, the main water. They got the water line hooked up probably for the refrigerator, which I don't recommend those at all. All right, so let's get to it. Let's shut these down. That's good. That's good. Now, when you take these off, you're going to have some water leaking. So have a towel or something ready. Um, and that'll be it. Let's grab our channel locks, the little channels that you uh, adjust. All right, so we're going to take the channel lock and we're just going to loosen those uh, up. Let's get a towel in place. Let's move the drain line and we'll slide the new one in place and hook that up. Always unplug the power before you start doing the uh, water lines. Okay, power first, unplug it, and disconnect the uh, two supply lines, and we'll pull this drain out. Pipe tape on the threads because you have a washer in here, a gasket. So many people make that mistake. They put pipe tape on all water connections. You don't need it when you have the rubber gasket inside, whether it be a hose, supply line, toilet supply line, sink. Um, you know, if it has that rubber gasket in there, that's compression fitting, you don't need the tape. So let's put this on. Make sure you got the hot and cold right, obviously. Remember, when you're doing hot and cold, the easy way to find out, if you're looking at these two pipes, which one the cold is, obviously to the right, they're hooked up to the refrigerator, cold line, and we got the hot over there. All right? Newer houses, they'll have like the red handle, blue handle, things like that. You can touch it. But not always, it doesn't work that way. These are both cool. But yeah, that's the cold line. Or when you're finished, check to make sure there are no leaks on both the uh, supply side and the actual unit. And we're looking good. So we're gonna plug her in, slide it back into place, and she's good to go. That's how you install a washing machine. Yes, Sonny.